Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. It is National Nurse Practitioner Week, acknowledging a profession that tends to fill in the gaps in healthcare. So calling us this morning to tell us a little bit more, we have the president of the American Association of Nurse Practitioners, Stephen Ferrara. Stephen, thanks so much for calling in. Good morning, thanks for having me. Absolutely, all right, let's start off with, why is it so important to recognize nurse practitioners and the, the work that they do? Uh, absolutely, so thank you. There are 385,000 nurse practitioners across the U.S. and 11,000 NPs in Michigan. Nurse practitioners are registered nurses with advanced uh, education and training that can diagnose, prescribe, and treat patients. Uh, nurse practitioners can be found in all healthcare settings and are essential for the health of the nation. So nurse practitioners are providing essential health care services, things like primary care, acute care, mental health, and uh, we are responsible for nearly a billion patient visits a year. Sounds like a jack of all trades. Absolutely. All right, very cool. <laughs> what differentiates a nurse practitioner maybe from other nurses? Yeah, so uh, uh, nurse practitioners are first registered nurses uh, with uh, doctoral and master's degrees. We uh, have a, additional education and, and training in school, uh, take a board certification exam to be a nurse practitioner, and are licensed uh, as such in the state. So the biggest thing is that nurse practitioners can prescribe medications in all 50 states. Stephen, uh, a lot of stories that we've covered regarding nurses, there's a lot of staffing shortages. So can you tell us how nurse practitioners impacted are impacted by that, and how do you hope to build this type of profession? Yeah, the good news is that uh, the U.S. News uh, and World Report has uh, ranked the nurse practitioner profession as the number one job in demand uh, uh, of all jobs that are out there. So we definitely have a lot of wind at our sails, and uh, nurse practitioners are absolutely providing essential health care services. Uh, and one of the uh, aspects that we know, we did a, uh, a survey recently in the spring uh, that showed uh, a lot of Americans actually are not up to date with their preventative health care. Things like uh, cancer screenings, screenings for diabetes. Nurse practitioners are leading the way to provide access uh, to screenings and access to essential care. Good stuff, yeah. We're in cold flu season right now. Can you tell us the role that nurse practitioners play, you know, treating conditions like RSV, COVID, the flu? Yes, uh, I, I, as a nurse practitioner myself, I have to say prevention is key. Uh, so you absolutely have to have good hand washing and, and, and minimize the spread of infection the best way you can. Um, immunizations are important. Uh, they have a role, especially for those who have weakened immune systems. So we think of our elderly, we think of our very, very young. Uh, immunizations are so important. And then if somebody does get uh, uh, an infection like an RSV or COVID or an influenza, nurse practitioners can prescribe medications uh, that could help patients uh, with, with the most severe symptoms. So uh, we're, we're ready. Uh, to take care of patients uh, in, in any state that they're in, uh, but we absolutely want to uh, impress that uh, prevention is key. Absolutely. All right, anything else that you want to add? Maybe ways that we can recognize our local nurse practitioners? Yes, uh, I'd say you can visit our website, wechoosenps.org. You can find a listing of nurse practitioners local to you, and you can also find information about common health care conditions and, and patient information tips that will help you stay healthy. Hey, Stephen, we appreciate you as a nurse practitioner, so thanks for all that you do for us. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Very welcome, and thanks for joining us, too. Thank you. Yeah. All right. For more information, just go to our hot link section that's on our website at WNEM.com.